Hey there, it's Amelia, and in this video, I'll show you how to use the Office add-in for the Emoji Keyboard. Now, this is available for both Microsoft Word and PowerPoint. I'm in Microsoft Word, and I have Office 365. Now, if you have an older version of Word, these steps should work, but if you watch till the end, I'm going to show you a couple tricks of other ways to get to emojis if for some reason the add-in is not available or you have a very old version of Office. So from the Insert tab in the Add-ins group, there's Get Add-ins and My Add-ins. And actually they both go to the same place. If I select Get Add-ins, it shows me Office Add-ins and two tabs, My Add-ins and Store. Versus if I select My Add-ins, it goes to the uh, same window, although My Add-ins is selected instead of Store. So the My Add-ins shows me my add-ins that are, have already been installed. I've already installed the Emoji Keyboard and you can see it here on the right, but let's say you have not installed it and you've never used it. In that case, you'll want to go over to the store and then you can either scroll down and look for it, but if you don't see it, it's right here, but if you don't see it right away, you can just use the search box and just type in emoji and it should come up here. So you can just click add, or if you wanna see more information, just go ahead and click on the name of the add-in and you'll be able to see information like the author, the number of reviews, some screen prints here. And also below that is a description and some more information about the add-in. So once you're ready to add it, just click add. And then you want to just give a look to the license terms and privacy policy and click continue. The first time you install the emoji keyboard, you may see a prompt on the upper right of your screen that notifies you that the add-in is available and it may give you some additional tips. Once the add-in is available, if you don't see it on the right in a separate pane, just look in your insert ribbon and it should have added an emoji keyboard icon on the right of your ribbon. So you wanna click on emoji keyboard and then it should open up a pane on the right. Here you can see the familiar emoji with the different smileys. And then there's different categories, smileys and people, animals and nature, food and drink, activities, travel and places, objects, symbols, and flags. And it's easy enough to insert an emoji in your document. You just wanna make sure that you have your cursor positioned properly and then just select the emoji. Now, once you select an emoji, if you click on another one, it's not gonna add that second one. You do have to click and reposition your cursor before you add a second emoji. And you can also search in the search bar here. And I'll just go ahead and click on Apple. And then you can also scroll down. In the smileys and people category, you're going to see hand gestures and different faces. Now below, you can also change the skin tone. So instead of the default, which is sort of like a yellow color, you can select any one of these other colors And again, to add an emoji, say of different faces, you would go ahead and click, reposition your cursor, and add another face. There's also some sizing options down in here. Mine is set for extra small, but if you did need an extra large emoji, you can do a couple things. You could either select the emoji and resize it. Just make sure that you either pick a handle on the corner, not on the sides, otherwise your image will be misshaped. 
So you can resize it like this, but it is going to start looking blurry. So instead, and I'm going to just undo that, change the size down in here, and then when you select the emoji, it's going to be nice and clear in that larger size. Again, you can resize it. Just make sure you either use the corner handle or make sure you have your aspect ratio locked. And to do that, double click on any image and then go into the advanced options here in the size group and make sure the lock aspect ratio option is checked. You can also, to see more emojis, you can widen the pane here so that it's a little easier to select and find your emoji. And for some reason, if the emojis here are not working well, there's a couple things you can do to add additional emojis or see different kinds of emojis. So you could do a couple things, especially if, as I mentioned, if you're using an older version of Word and for some reason if the add-in is not available. You can also insert symbol and change the font to this Sego UI emoji font. And when you do, you're going to see not only symbols, but you're going to see an array of emojis if you scroll down below. Now, even though they look black and white here, when you insert them, and to insert, you can insert more than one. Just click on the emoji, click insert, click on another one, click insert, and so forth. Down in here, you could see that the emojis are being added, and now they are in color. Once finished, if you wanted to resize it, because this is not an image like this is, this is considered a character, you can just select these characters and then increase the font size. And that's how you would increase the size of that type of emoji. And I'll show you one more type of emoji that you could insert with the Windows key and a semicolon. And when you do so, you'll see a, yet another box. These are the familiar emojis, and you can also select the different categories down in here. And once selected, just go ahead and click on your emoji, and then exit when you're finished. And then over here, again, you're gonna see that it is not an image and you would resize it the same way I showed you with the other characters by increasing the font size. If you wanna learn more about emojis outside of Office, you can also watch this other video I created that shows you how to install a Windows emoji keyboard. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and smash the like button and remember to subscribe so you don't miss any new videos. I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.